Hi, it's Hopke, and welcome to this keyboard shortcut screencast. Now, in version 5, we gave you a basic set of keyboard um, shortcuts, so when the panel was open, you could use the up, down, left, and right arrow key, and we assigned a few keys um, that you could use the panel, but that sort of gave you a limited amount of keyboard access. What we've done in version 6 is there are no default keyboard actions, but we've given you the ability to add keyboard, uh, custom keyboard actions in the elements. Now, as an example, if I select the pan right button, um, you'll see that if I curse it down, I haven't got any actions for it at the moment, so I'm gonna give it the action of when it's pressed, so when the mouse is pressed down, we are going to pan to the right, and I'm gonna slow it down, I'm gonna give it a speed of 0.5, um, so it's not too quick. Now. What I'm going to do now is under the advanced, I'm going to select the keyboard shortcut and I'm going to press the right arrow button on my keyboard. There we go. So now what's going to happen is when I press and hold my arrowed key, we're going to get the pressed action pan right. Now it's important to note here that the keyboard emulates one of four different mouse, if you like, um, button click actions because we have the mouse down, the mouse up, we have the mouse pressed and we have the mouse click. So it'll work with all four of those. So in this case, I've done that. Now, again, as another example, if I go to the um, next pano button, again, what I'm going to do here is give it the action of mouse clicked. I don't want to press. And the idea is I'm going to open next panorama and go to the next node. And there we go. And it's going to open up in the default view. So what I'm going to do here is add the keyboard shortcut N for next. If we look at the previous one, I've already given it the action and given it the shortcut key P for previous. Right, now where this differs slightly is under the full screen. Now, normally I would have a full screen or enter full screen button and exit full screen button, and they would have their own actions. But because I want to use one key on the keyboard, the F key, like for full screen, what I've done is I've put these buttons in its container. And I'm going to give the parent container the action of mouse click, um, full screen, and toggle. So just using the same button, I can enter and exit full screen. Okay, and I'm just going to give it the shortcut. F for full screen. Okay, now we've got two different button graphics. Now this is okay because what's happening is that these buttons have their own logic blocks. So the enter full screen button, when it's clicked and you're in full screen, when that equals true, it's going to hide itself. And it will, basically they're going to swap the graphics around. So when I'm in full screen, you'll see the exit full screen button. And when I'm when I'm in normal uh, screen, you'll see the enter full screen button. So these will work by themselves. Okay, so let's uh, save, close, and publish. And what I've got now is when I keyboard up, down, left, and right, there we go, I can do the next for uh, the N key for next panel, P for previous, and my F will take me to full screen. And pressing F again because it's a toggle will take me up. That, so that's quite cool, and that's how you assign keyboard shortcuts. Now what happens if you've got, um, if you want to use the up, down, left and right, but you don't have those buttons in your skin? Well, what you can do, um, let's have a look at this skin, is I've I've added containers. So even though I've only got these buttons, so I've only got the left, I've got next and previous and enter and exit full screen, but what I've done is I've added four containers and each container has the relevant action. So even though I don't actually have physical up, down, left and right buttons, these hidden containers, uh, which are also set to permeable, so they can't be interacted with, will execute the action. But whilst I'm here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this container and I'm gonna paste it twice and I'm gonna set these to um, zoom in and zoom out because obviously I wanna be able to do this um, hang on, uh, zoom out, um, but I don't physically have the keys for it. So what I'm going to do then is on the zoom in, cursor down, I'm going to clear the keyboard action by pressing the clear button. I'm going to select the um, shift key for my zoom in, and I'm going to change the action for when it's pressed, zoom in, and again, I'll change the speed to slow it down a little bit. So that's my zoom in. 
and on my um, on the other one the zoom out be exactly the same thing I'm going to clear it I'm going to use the alt key or the alternative key for my zoom out and again change the action pressed zoom out and again 0.5 because I don't want it happening too quickly there we go so now when I close uh, close and save publish what we should have is even though I've only got three buttons I have now still got my shift and alt for zooming in and out I've got my up down and left and right arrow keys and I've still got the N for next pano P for previous and F for toggling my full screen there you go so you don't have to physically have all those buttons you can use containers to do that as well now I want to just quickly show you one last thing before I go and that's you can add lots and lots of interaction now now I've added here an information pop-up there we go so that's in the skin and how I've done this is I've used logic blocks so again I've set up all my buttons and my keyboard actions but what I've done is within a logic block I've I've set it so when I'm in between a certain pan and tilt so let's pan it around we get this information text pop up saying there is a hotel information press spacebar and I've added a keyboard shortcut to the spacebar that opens up the information so you can see that I've got Hilton Hotel tells you where it is and because it's a toggle when I press the spacebar again it hides also what I've done is if you move the keyboard that will also hide it as well so you only see that text when there's something to actually view so if I go to um, the Johann Strauss um, statue so that's in the third panel when I pan around you'll see that the information uh, text pops up again when I press the space bar you can see the pop-up so there you go this is what you can achieve by using logic blocks as well as well as the keyboard shortcuts you can create a complete interactive multi node tour with information pop-ups and all sorts so that's what's possible anyway that's the video on keyboard shortcuts and as always Thanks for watching.